Welcome back to Community Arts of Elmira. I'm Ron Dixon. I'm one of the board members here, and uh, uh, they've been very nice to me to let me be the house artist, so to speak, and use the building as kind of my own canvas. So we are in the midst of the second mural that I've been involved with. Uh, <clears throat> this is Lake Street, and it is an urban scene, and it takes place probably about 1905. Um, this started out as a small painting uh, from a postcard, and it, it got bigger and bigger, as many projects do, and so I decided to do the same trompe l'oeil technique that I used in the previous mural, and <clears throat> the idea being that you are part of the scene that you can feel you can walk into it. The perspective is what we call severe one point, but I raised the horizon line so that you are up high on Lake Street Bridge looking down onto the street with a <clears throat> descending plane. And the imagery and the people that you see are based on 19th century photographs that I have gleaned off uh, the internet via Google and so on. Most of the figures are people photographed during the Edwardian era, uh, mostly in Europe. Uh, <clears throat> by photographers like Ajay, for example. And uh, I have uh, painstakingly placed them into the scene. Uh, they're gonna be painted last. Right now I'm working on the architectural components uh, based on the architecture that some of it, which is still standing in Elmira, which would be the right side of the mural, and the left side I've had to go with pretty much what photography I've been able to clean. The uh, perspective's done very simply with a single string and every line that goes back into space has to be qualified by that string. That's a, a Renaissance technique. Uh, you'll find this in Da Vinci's Last Supper, Raphael's School of Athens. And again, the illusion is diminishing space that makes the wall disappear. Well, like, like all projects, they take on a life of their own. I started this, it'll be three years ago in September. Uh, the drawings took me approximately a year, year and a half and I work on it about a day a week. Of course, COVID did cut into my time, uh, but I try to get a day a week in, and uh, obviously this is where I'm at at this point. I'm thinking I'll probably have this completed by Christmas. That's my, my goal, my hope, okay. I'm working on the last building here on the left, and once I get this all attenuated, uh, the people will be next, and I think once I start the folks, it'll, it'll probably take off pretty good. These are all photographs from the 19th century. Uh, these two little boys were photographed probably in the 1880s, 1890s, uh, by an urban photographer in New York City. And uh, they were basically orphans living in the street. And so I took the black and white photographs of them and I incorporated them into the mural. The figures are life size, and of course that gives you the lead in to the rest of the mural. And there's a life size cat on the countertop or the idea is to incorporate the architecture of the woodwork into the mural so it all kind of blends together. Right? Uh, the vehicle in the foreground is a uh, 1903 almost Oldsmobile number one with a tiller and I have a friend that actually has one so I have a very good resource for that for you know viewing and painting and uh, basically it's just the difference between this scene and the other is the people are actively doing something and they're not aware of you the viewer. So you're, you're watching a moment in time as people are going about their business, grocery shopping, clothing shopping, walking the street, you know, whatever their event is. I'm, I'm very grateful that they trust me to do something like this, to be honest with you. Uh, uh, but it's a labor of love, and uh, I enjoy the historical aspect, you know, and it is also a, a very uh, intricate piece of Elmira in the past with the trolley cars and the activity. Uh, and it just, you know, goes to show what a beautiful city you know, Elmira is. Uh, and right now, if we were to walk into the mural, we are standing behind this church. Community Arts is behind this building uh, over on 2nd Street. So it's pretty accurate in terms of what architecture that I was able to uh, view that's still standing. Well, uh, probably the strongest little hidden Easter egg is the little boy in the foreground with the Wright Brothers fly at Huffman Prairie, Flyer 2. That was their uh, secondary and third flights in 1905 in September. So it kind of puts you in the fall, 1904, 1905. I've also incorporated some of the local businesses that are current 
in the mural. For example, Gerald's Apothecary, McClure and Sons Meats, True Stationery, uh, H. Strauss Clothes. Those businesses are still here in Elmira. Some of these were here back then as well. Strauss, for example, was here. So there's a little mix of the old and the new, but you really have to kind of look for it.